What's up guys and welcome to Mousecraft. This is a game coming out on PS4, PS3, and PS Vita cross by on July 8th, 2014 in North America. It's a really, really cool game. Let's hop into it right away. A puzzle game and I've been really enjoying it. it there's a lot of content here. Let's like flip through the levels really quick. There's definitely about 50 plus levels here. You know, just in this first area alone, there's 20 of them and they're very, very well made levels. So let's uh, hop into a generally early one. So that we can, so I can give you a good idea of the basics of the game. Basically, Mousecraft is about mice. Uh, the graphic style is actually really nice. It reminds me of Tiny Brains, but the gameplay itself is a little more like Lemmings. Basically, I press square, and these three mice start hopping out, walking around, and our goal is to get them to the cheese. And there's a funny little story that goes along with this game as well. It's uh, it's overall really really enjoyable, and the. Um, the basis of it, ooh, I did that wrong, let me restart. Uh, the basis of it's really simple. You know, what I just explained is everything about the game, you know, um, and it gets more complex as they introduce different mechanics later, as I'll show off in a little bit. Okay, oh, pause has been turned on. Let me do that again. So let me explain the controls. Basically, we don't control the mice. Like I said, in that sense, it's very similar to Lemmings. Instead, instead of controlling the mice, we control the environment so that uh, the mice get safely to where they need to go. Oh, here we are. So I can put these Tetris blocks down and they can make their way over to this area. Oh boy. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh boy. Uh, quick, hopefully, or luckily there is like quick refresh and stuff like that. We can get these mice to hop up here. And it's all just about controlling the environment to make sure that things work out well and you get the 100% completion. And, you know, there's a lot of little details that you need to know to be able to do it perfectly. So, why don't we go back to the level select to get something a little more complex now. Because we can hop to, like, level 10. And you might see some different stuff. There's collectibles, so, like, you can just simply finish the level. Uh, or you could do something a little more difficult and get the collectibles, which are those blue shards. Like, you can see one at the bottom of the screen. It's sort of like a blue crystal. And if you... If you get that, then the more you can continue. Basically, if you go to a new area and you don't have enough blue crystals, then you'll have to go back to some previous levels and collect some more. That's the only purpose they really have, though. So it's unless you just like bragging about 100% completion, you won't actually get too much bonus content at all, or if, or if any. So uh, with this, now we have a new mechanic called the bomb, and I can explode one piece of a uh, uh, block. So I can uh, do this. Maybe I want to uh, put this here so that my mice can hop down from this area and go up there. Mice can hop up one block high, but if they run into a situation where they have to hop up but two blocks, they won't be able to. Instead, as you can see here, the mice sort of sniff the wall and turn around. Let's explode this block so that they can come over here. But uh-oh, okay, yeah, for a second there, I thought I only I ran out of bombs, but here we go. Now the mice are gonna walk around. Now there is an undo button for this game, just in case you do happen to mess up. But I found something annoying with the undo button is that sometimes it'll undo a little too far. And that can be annoying. You've obviously noticed that there's a fast forward button, so I don't see why they don't just have a rewind button along with the undo. That way if you have something really, really specific you messed up, um, you know, it would be a lot easier. Okay, so things can be pretty complicated here. So how are we gonna do this? I think what we wanna do is let them loose immediately. Actually, no, that might not be a good idea. See, it's really hard. It, there's a lot of trial and error that goes into this game for sure. So I think the best thing maybe will be to do something like this, so that the mice do this, you know, bounce around a bit, so that they can uh, get the bomb and that crystal. You know, you wanna get as many crystals as possible, just because it's good to have to unlock the for forward areas. Okay, so now I want to pause it by pressing the touchpad. I can pause the game, and maybe we can do a little bit of this. I think this is what I want here, and then maybe a little bit of this here. Let's see how that works out for us. It looks like in this scenario, I might have messed up, and I won't be able to get the... Uh, What's it called? The fourth crystal, but oh well. You know, I'm not going for 100% completion, so it's not that big of a deal here. But you know, it's obviously this t kind of 
puzzle is what you should expect in Mousecraft. It doesn't really get very rinse and repeat. It doesn't get annoying like, ugh, this just keeps dragging. I feel like I'm doing the same levels over and over again. It adds new mechanics often to the point where levels feel new and fresh. And it can be a little hard to do that for some games, some puzzle games. So it's good that it has that balance of progression. So it's like every few levels I get a new mechanic introduced to me that makes the game significantly more, you know, variable. So like I can go to a later level here in this world and we can see that we have jelly. So rats can only fall three spaces. If they fall farther, they'll die. With jelly, they can fall as far as possible. There's also mechanical mice, which can kill. And you know, it's just stuff like that. The game does have a funny story along with it too. So like, uh, there is a, this guy in the back, I think his name is Schrodinger. He's a ma or he's a he's a cat, and he does all these different experiments with these mice. But he starts running out of money, and then he gets this mysterious call from a uh, unknown person, and the, the guy basically tells him, if you, uh, what's it called? If you, you know, keep on doing your experiments and get these crystals, I'll buy more cheese for you so you can continue your experiments. And thus, he has fought poverty. Okay, so let's try to figure this out a bit. You know, there's always the easy way and the hard way with this game. So, you know, I can do the easy way, which is putting some jelly down here. And then deleting this block. And then hopping over here. And then, oh, wait, I messed it up. So I guess maybe it's not all that easy. Uh, let me try to do that again. Okay, so there's always the easy way <laughs> and the hard way, which is the easy way is this. This is getting these mice over here and then placing this over here. Hope oh, if I'm doing this correctly. Oh boy, maybe this isn't, oh God, I'm really bad at this game now. This is the thing, it's just, you know, trial and error and I'm trying to do it quickly so I can just sort of show you guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm being horrible. I don't want to sit here for 10 minutes thinking about it. So, you know, this is Mousecraft. Very simple, but the way it expands and keeps going and going is really cool. So we, we're going to go back to the main menu now because I do want to show off that there is a level editor. And it's it's pretty cool. I've tried some level editing. And, I, you know, I'm not very good at creating levels in any game. So it's not really my thing. But you can see there is some pretty cool stuff that you can do here. And... I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to uh, adventure and all that kind of stuff. But the thing I don't like about it is that there's no way to share your levels. And I don't really get that. What's the point of making a puzzle game if you're making the solution, you know? If you can share it with us and say, hey, here's my puzzle, let's see if you can solve it, then that's great. But it's like if you're making a puzzle for yourself, that's a little hard to do because you can't, you already know the solution. I don't know, really weird. And besides that, there's not many rewards. You know, these rewards are actually just, you know, videos you've already seen, credits, and then stats and trophies, which aren't that big of a deal. But the game gets pretty in-depth and it gets pretty difficult. And it's really a good one for Lemmings fans or just puzzle fans in general. But this is Mousecraft, available for cross by for PS3, PS4, and PS Vita. In this video, please consider giving it a zebra-tastic like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.